still cooler than we been used to. Yes, I know. And even as we're talking about temperatures above average around 90 or so, at least we're not looking at hundreds and at least we are looking at mostly 80s actually for highs this week. We will have scattered rain in the forecast. We might even have some days with middle 80s and it does look drier next weekend and maybe still not too hot for next weekend. But the big thing for a lot of us is the rain, of course, to help us get out of these drought conditions. 78 right now in New Orleans. Our dew point has edged up, so a little bit humid feeling for sure this weekend. Temperatures now, all of us in the 70s and lows tonight expected north and south in the 70s. Your wake up forecast, you'll wake up to 70, so a pretty mild start. We do have that chance at least for a few showers and storms. Now, I don't think everyone's going to see it. We'll see how much these storms are able to hold together just now getting off toward the Shreveport area. But looking at New Orleans right now, we are dry around the southeast Louisiana spots. But I mentioned earlier that we do have a couple of these showers. This model probably overperforming a little bit as far as how much rain is out there, both around Shreveport and around us, because we don't actually see the rain that it has. But tracking this as this complex of showers and storms continues across Louisiana. Now, a lot of models don't pick up on this at all, but this is a high resolution model showing a few showers and storms for early tomorrow morning. So just a heads up on that early commute. There might be some scattered rain already in the morning. This is lunchtime. Looks like we'll get a break if we do have rain in the morning. And then for the afternoon, our models actually paint in a few more showers and storms popping up as we get toward almost 90 degrees or right around 90 for the high tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow we'll keep near a 40% chance for the scattered rain temperatures again close to 90 for highs, but overall not as hot even as this weekend. That will be the trend through this week. Your planner takes you into the 80s. We'll have a few clouds around, so things will be a little different and in the upper atmosphere. This is why we're getting the daily scattered rain. This dip here. This is a trough of low pressure with two big highs out to the east and to the west of us. What we see this week is really just this trough digging in a little farther to the southern part of the southeast part of the US. So scattered rain is in the forecast, but then look what happens by this late week and the weekend. It lifts off to the northeast and we're looking drier by then. How much rain are we talking about? Unfortunately, doesn't look like all that much. It will really depend on whether you get a scattered storm, but We'll keep that near 40% rain chance all the way through Thursday and our rain. You can see in the blue up to about an inch. If you're curious about rain farther to the north around other parts of the Mississippi River drainage areas, there is a chance for at least an inch or so of rain, but this is for the next week around the Illinois River, the Ohio River, just not all that much. Now in the tropics, actually the National Hurricane Center today started highlighting an area here, just a low pressure area, some showers and storms. They give it a 10% chance of development. Now models are not doing a lot with this. For example, this is the European model. You don't see anything spinning up and this takes us all the way a week from today by next weekend. So this is just going to drift to the west, not really affect us at all. It has a very small window for development, but it will have a lot of shear later in the next couple of days. So that probably will not develop, but we'll keep tracking it. This is Tropical Storm Philippe, by the way. This became a tropical storm this weekend. It's forecast to stay a tropical storm, but strengthen and probably stay out over the open ocean. And another wave, this is now Invest 91, also has a high chance of developing. The next name is Rena, but look at the models for this one, curving it out to the north. We've seen this with a lot of storms so far this hurricane season, and we're seeing it once again with these two out there. Uh, so always a good thing when we can keep them out in the Atlantic, not affecting land and not getting toward our part of the Atlantic Basin around the Caribbean and the Gulf. Seven day forecast, you can see the temperature is not too bad and those rain chances continuing through Thursday. We're loving the 80s out here. <laughs> All right, today LSU.